I am arguing that the Gospels are more reliable on this fact. I am also arguing that the Quran imputes the honor of Allah by making him a liar. And the Quran is making a statement that he's also... Let me finish. Let me finish. You can respond in your turn. And for their saying, indeed we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, and they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble him to them, and indeed those who differ over it are, though are in doubt about it, they have no knowledge of it except following of assumption. Give me your interpretation. I'm not an expert, I'm not an expert on religion, but you've made okay. it. But the thing is, you're making a good one. So cool, Phil. This is really what's going on. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Muslim interpretation. This is what's come to mind. Every, every interpretation, the swoon theory he said, the one that I've given, none of these are Christian made up. All of them are what Muslims have said. That's God deceiving the Bible. But according to the Quran, according to the Quran, according to the Quran, you had your chance. That's not answer the question. He's scared. Just like, how do you say Paul Williams is scared? He's scared. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption, and they did not kill him for certain. Those who differ over it are in doubt about it that they're following conjecture. So the Quran is saying that we Christians are in conjecture. This is what the Quran is saying. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. I know the Muslim interpretation. This is not my inter I am not I have not mentioned anything that a Christian believes. Okay, what Muslims have interpreted then? The way you the way what you just said is you you are basically re uh, extracting interpretations from what, Mus from what Muslims have said. So give me the names of the Muslims that have interpreted that verse yeah. that you've just uh, cited right now. Well Akhman did that, Shabia Ali. Those would be two of the names. Zaki and I. Bilal Iraq. Bilal Khan. Khan. So there's there's four names right there. Okay. okay. Now let me ask you this question. But I just, me, I just, before you ask me that question, I just want to okay. clarify a certain thing. Yeah. Your girlfriend extracted um, interpretations from what uh, scholars said. Now, are you, you you must be aware you're a clever man that scholars. There's different types of scholars and different scholars. Different scholars differ in their interpretations of certain verses. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So what you just presented is one way of looking at a yes. particular type of evidence. Yes. And other scholars will disagree and will say the opposite of what you said. Okay. So if you if you're trying to convince me in believing that what you're saying is correct, then you know I'm in, I'm in doubt. I'm always going to be in doubt because now according yeah. to the Quran, it's not you that should be in doubt. It's me. According to the Quran, it is me that should be in doubt about what actually happened and it should be me that is speculating and making up conjecture, different theories to try and explain the events. But the reality is, for 2,000 years the church has been consistently clear. Christ died on a cross. Seventh century comes along, this verse is revealed and suddenly the Muslims are in doubt and making up conjecture to explain their ayah. But the Quran says it shouldn't be you in doubt and making up conjectures, it should be me and him. And me and him should disagree. And me and the other Christians should disagree and fight about this and fall out and argue about what happened according to the Quran, if the Quran is true, if the words of Allah are real. But actually, when we look at sociologically what's really happening, all Christians agree that Christ was crucified, died on a cross and rose on the third day. But Muslims cannot agree about what actually happened to Jesus and they are conjecturing and they are making up different kinds of theories to explain what happened in the past. But the point I'm making to you is that theologically speaking, Allah is wrong because, Allah, let me finish. Theologically speaking, Allah is wrong because Allah says we should be full of doubt and conjecture, but the reality on the ground is, when we look at all the evidence, it's the Muslims that are in doubt and full of conjecture. So Allah has made one false statement and he's possibly lying. So, can we right, believe such a book? Question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying that we're in doubt because of the fact there's a disagreement. Muslims in, are in doubt, there's, that's there's, clear. Yeah, yeah. You're saying that the doubt originates from the disagreement of the scholars about the depth of... Which you've just right. testified to yourself. Okay, okay. No, I haven't testified it. I haven't testified, it. I haven't testified anything. So, okay, let me just ask you a question here. Yeah? From a, from a Christian perspective, yeah? Okay, so you're saying that uh, the, the uh, origins of the crisis death have always remained 
uh, basically the same throughout uh, Christian scripture, right? Christian scripture, yeah. right? Throughout the, the Christians are clear. Christ was crucified so and that, he died on a cross. So you're saying that is the, that consist, that's, that's evidence that's consistent with uh, the whole of scripture, right? That's correct. But what about the rest of the part? Why do they have to keep uh, changing the uh, Bible rules over and over again? Okay. So you're saying that basically your point is, is that that has remained uh, 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 basically <laughs> consistent. Yeah. But why hasn't everything else been different? <laughs> Okay. Because, like you said, the so, Bible has adapted to May I reply? Society. May I reply? So, it's like you're picking and choosing. Yeah, yeah, but, but here's the thing the topic that we're talking about is what happened to Christ on the cross. Okay? The biblical evidence is clear Christ died on a cross. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are all clear about that. These are all independent authors, by the way. They're all writing independently of one another. Paul is clear of that. Are clear about that he's also writing independently of the others it's clear that they are aware of one another's texts certainly the synoptic gospels are however what is and, and this is indisputable you know you look at dr daniel wallace dr bart ehrman a man who makes your point about the bible being changed let, let me finish let me finish dr bart ehrman who makes your very point about bibles being changed dr bart ehrman agrees he believes christ was crucified died on a cross Dr. Daniel Wallace, who argues with Bart Ehrman about whether we can trust the Bible, believes Christ died on a cross. Bruce Metzger believes Christ died on a cross. Dr. James White believes Christ died on a cross. No serious scholar, except in the Muslim world, no serious scholar believes that Christ was not crucified. The historical evidence is clear. We have historians outside of the Bible outside of the Bible talking about Christ's crucifixion. We have church fathers writing outside of the Bible about Christ's crucifixion. Paul was writing to people who already believed in Christ's crucifixion before he wrote his letters. Which means that the claim that Christ was crucified was there before he wrote about so it. Can I ask, so are you basically saying in summary that the Bible is more valid than the Quran? Is that I what am... you're saying? Because that's what, that's what I'm getting at. You're basically saying that uh, the, there's one common agreement in uh, the Bible that uh, Christ died in a specific way. But yet in those uh, literature in the Quran, there's disagreement. So for what I'm gathering, you're basically saying that the Bible is more valid form of evidence than the Quran. That's right. basically what you're proposing. That, that is part of what I'm proposing. Okay. It's then not my, the Quran. I can, I can no, let me that. finish. No, okay. no, 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 no. You've, you had, your, you've had your time to speak. Let me speak. You have not. You've had your time to hold speak. Hold on. I'll but let you finish and then I'll reply. I'll that, let you finish and I'll reply. If, 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 but, if, if you're going to say that, wait, wait. I'm going to help you. Okay, if you're going to I want to try and help you. I want to try and help you. If you're going to say that, this is not the fullness of my argument. This is not the fullness of my argument. I'm trying to help you. All right, then clarify, please. I am not trying. I'm trying to help you. So when you respond, you can respond to the fullness of my argument. Okay, you're right. I am arguing that the Gospels... Let me, no, it's not selective at all. Let me finish. I am arguing that the Gospels are more reliable on this fact. I am also arguing that the Quran imputes the honor of Allah by making him a liar. And the Quran is making a statement that he's also... Let me finish. Let me finish. You can respond in your turn. That the Quran is also making a statement that is factually false. So those are my three points. Gospels more reliable about what happened to Jesus on the cross. The Quran makes Allah into a liar, and the Quran makes a false statement about facts. Well, well, so the false statement. Just repeat for me again. The, the false statements are this. The Quran says that the people of the first centuries are in doubt about what happened to Jesus and are full of conjecture. However, the testimony... How does that make you a false uh, If you let me finish, I'll explain. Can I explain? Okay. So that's what the Quran says. But the fact of history is that Jews, Christians and Romans all agree Christ died on a cross. There is no dispute amongst them. So that makes secondly, the wrong. Secondly, secondly, Muslims from the seventh century are coming up with one theory after another to explain this verse. That means that it is the Muslims are in doubt about what actually happened and are making conjecture. But the Quran says it should be the other way around. 
So your reply? Okay, so just because uh, the Quran says, as you mentioned, that something is in doubt, right? That doesn't make it false. Okay? If I don't know what's happening to you, right? Say for instance that you die and I don't know the origins of your death and I say to someone else, okay, I don't know if you die. That doesn't make me a liar. That doesn't make me false. Just to clarify your point. Because the Muslims don't know the origins of Jesus' death, that doesn't make them a liar and that doesn't make them false. Okay? Just to be clear. So that's, that's what you're arguing. And you, also what I've noticed is you're basically uh, extracting, you're supporting your argument and saying that the whole Quran is false by saying that just because um, the uh, just because the origins of uh, Jesus' death is unclear in the Quran and it's basically clear in the Bible, then you're saying that the Quran is false and the, the Bible is more, somehow more valid than the Quran. Which I disagree with. You've because, misunderstood because my argument because slightly. If, because if you're going to interpret, if you're going to select one extract of the Quran to support your argument that the Bible is somehow more valid than the Quran, then you also have to look at your own Bible and look at all the other disputable evidence in the Bible which the Quran can also pick up on. I don't know, I haven't read the Bible, but I know there's certain, certain things that are unclear in the Bible which I could easily raise to you the same way you're raising to me. Okay, let me, let me reply yeah. to that. We're, we're talking about sorry, things sorry. that are factual. 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 Okay. So it is a fact that Muslims are disputing what actually happened to Jesus. That's a fact. The evidence is there. You've got Ahmed Didat who proposes the swoon theory. You've got other Muslims who are proposing the replacement theory. You've got Muslims who propose an illusion theory. There are, there are Muslims, some people say that it was Judas Iscariot on the cross. Some Muslims say that it was actually one of the faithful followers of Jesus who offered himself to be a replacement because he wanted to die in the place of Jesus. Muslims have lots of different theories about what actually happened. It's so sociologically proven, it's evidential, you can just get all the theories and I invite you to do so and look at them. So there's no dispute about the fact that Muslims are conjecturing about what happened in the first century. How do you know? Let me finish. How do you know? How do you know? Let your, me finish. Your, the evidence Let in the Bible is more valid. Okay, okay. How do you I, I'm know? going to come to that. I, I promise know? I will come yeah. to that. How do you know? That's I will valid? come to that. I will come to that. Now, the Quran is saying that the what what should be happening is that the people of the first century should be in doubt and the people of the first century should be conjecturing. But when we look at the evidence, like Josephus and other historians, and we look at the early church fathers, and we look at the, the literature of the New Testament, the witness is consistent no matter who is writing, whether they're Jewish, Roman, pagan or Christian, Christ was crucified. No conjecture, no doubt. Christ died, no I'll, conjecture, I'll have to, I'll have to no believe. doubt. So, so, when we weigh the evidence against the statement of alleged, the Quran... Alleged evidence. Yes, alleged, go and look into alleged, it. Alleged, alleged. Go and look into it. When we weigh the evidence, I'm not, I'm not happy when we weigh the evidence and we compare it to the claim that the Quran makes should be happening, we are forced to conclude that the Quran is false. From your alleged evidence. To, alleged, you asked about the Bible. One more point, one more point. That's you asked about the Bible okay, and I never got onto okay, it. Sorry, okay, so why do I believe that the Gospels are more reliable? I believe that the Gospels are more reliable because they were written by the community that surrounded the eyewitnesses. And those eyewitnesses didn't go and proclaim Christ crucified, Christ resurrected because someone else told them. They went and proclaimed Christ crucified, Christ resurrected because they had seen and experienced something, something that convinced them that Christ had risen from the dead.